Hi everyone, Kathy with eLearning Media Services. Today I'm going to give you a hint about how to change your notifications easily while you're still watching the tutorial here by Emily Boone. Now, most of you will have more than one browser on your laptop or computer. This is important for this hint. If you don't have more than one browser, then I suggest you download uh, one that you don't have, such as Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Brave, and there's a host of others. But just make sure you have two. Alright, so as you can see here, I am on the uh, SLCC Canvas user credential page that has to do with changing your notifications. And there's a lovely video here, tutorial by Emily Boone. However, in order to see this properly, you need to expand it. And so, before we do that, we're going to open another browser and get this set up so that we can go back and forth between Emily's tutorial and our own notifications so we can change things as we go. So, in this example, I am going to show you what it looks like in Edge, which is a Microsoft browser. So this is Edge and this is the same page with Emily. However, I don't want to stay on Emily's page. I want to go to my own notifications and I'm going to do that by clicking up here on my picture up in the upper left hand corner and I'll get a menu and here are my notifications. So I'm going to click on that. Alright, so now I'm on the page I need to be on to go back and forth between what Emily's telling me to do in her tutorial and what I want to change and her tutorial. So this is the main hint that I want you to learn if you don't already know it. And if you're on a Windows machine and you hold down your Alt key and then click once on your Tab key, you will see a list of the applications and windows that you have open come up. So we know that Emily Boone's tutorial is in Chrome, so I will click, I'm still holding down the Alt key, I will click one more time on the Tab key, it goes to Chrome, and then I just let up on all the keys. So I'm back to Emily's. Now, this is because when you have, you could use another tab up here, but the problem is Emily's video is too small this way. We want to enlarge it. So we click that button. And let's go back again and see how I did that if, in case you don't know how to do that. Right here by Vimeo, you see these little arrows pointing out. That means you can make it bigger. So you click that. And now you can watch Emily's video in the size that you can actually see what she's doing. And then you can use the Alt Tab method that I just taught you to go back and forth between, in my case, it's Edge and Chrome. So I can go to Edge and then I can go back to Chrome. So say we're going through this and she has told us how to change the email. I can go, I can pause. So let's actually get out of this for a sec. I can pause her video. Pause her video where I want to pause it. I can use Alt Tab to get to my notifications which are in Edge on, in my case here, my example and I can go into the email and change my settings. So, which is under settings, and here's my email address, and I can add another one. So, if you are on a Mac, do not despair. You can do the same thing on your Mac using Command Tab. That's the Command button and Tab. It does the exact same thing. So, I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me at kathy.sutton at slcc.edu or anybody at the e-learning media services team. And uh, I hope this helps and good luck with your certification.